Once one of the country's most important ports, Kingsland docks were still very active at the turn of the last century. One of those boats working the waters of the Wash was the Baden Pau. Built in 1900, she fished the Wash and the River Grey Two's estuary until 1980. And now she's back there. You get a feel of the boat and you sort of get a feel of its history when you're actually sailing it. The emphasis on the design was more for a work boat rather than a sailing boat because she has about that much keel on it, whereas a normal modern yacht will have something like anything between four and a six foot keel. But there's very little keel because they used to go out in the wash and dry it on the sands and then rake the cockles up and then put them in the hold in, in sacks and they will be stacked up here somewhere when they came back. It's taken 10 years to restore her after a decade sat on boat quay and it's the tenacity of Tim Clayton, a host of volunteers and some lottery money that she's back where she belongs. It was the first boat that Walter Warford built when he moved to Kingsland in 1900 and it's the last of the double enders that's sort of a, 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 a boat specifically built for cockling on the wash. From that point of view, it is quite a unique vessel. It's easy to forget that Lynn has a river, but from the water you get a unique perspective of the town, the constant reminders of its rich maritime heritage and the still busy docks. It's taken a decade to get the baden Pow ship shape again. You can see for yourself how seaworthy she is when the trips start later in the summer. Kate Prout, ITV News, Kings Lynn and Norfolk.